So just out of ease, we're going to go ahead and take that off. You can either take them off by hand or you can go ahead and use a cutter, which is actually much easier. Um, trimming your parts off of the tree is actually fairly important. It's going to give you a lot cleaner build. And then later on, as you're using your Baja, as you go to grab it, um, you're not going to hurt your hands by grabbing onto a, a piece that, that should have been cut off. So we're going to take our time and go ahead and cut the pieces off the tree. And then once we've done that, all the parts that were, were cut off, there's still little protrusions. We're going to use our hobby knife or a razor blade or a Dremel tool. And we're going to go ahead and, and clean those all up so that uh, we have nice clean pieces to work with. Um, you need to take some pride in your build and these is, trimming your, your plastic parts is one of the things that uh, is really going to pay off in the long run by, by giving you a nice clean build. So we're going to go ahead and shut the camera off. We're going to go ahead and trim off all the little pieces that are left behind on all three parts and we're going to go ahead and get them ready to assemble. Alright, we have all the uh, parts cleaned off so that there's no more parts hanging off that we can hurt our hands on and at this point now as we're following the directions we're going to go ahead and insert our lock nuts which are M5 lock nuts into the pieces um, the directions are going to show you that for the main bulkhead we're, there are two that go into these little holes right here very simple to get them in there's several different ways that you can do it um, as we showed before, this little tool that's called uh, Tool 85459, it's a little lock nut installation tool. Um, this is a good place to show you how to use it. We're going to go ahead and put our 3 millimeter wrench into the hex portion and push it onto our wrench. And there's a little nub that sticks off here. We're going to grab one of our M5 nuts and we're going to take the ridged portion of the nut, which is right here and then there's the flat portion. So we're going to take and insert the tool into the ridged portion of the nut like so and then you can line the nut up with the hole in the brace where it belongs and you can just push it on in there until it's seated in. And That's how you're going to use this tool. The other way to use the tool is with a pair of pliers rather than with an allen wrench. So you can go ahead and it's the same theory, you can put your nut on there and get yourself a pair of pliers. And at this point, you can very simply just press the nut in like so. Take the tool out and then go ahead and use it on another nut. Um, another way that we have found to do this, which actually works fairly well, is to get yourself an M5 screw and you can actually push it through the back side of your part and put the nut on it and then go ahead and line the nut up use your pliers and pull it on down into place that's another way to do it um, however you choose to do it, this is something that uh, you need to do, so <laughs> better get rolling. Um, there are a total of, of eight nuts that are to be used in these steps. Two go in this particular part. Well, I'm just having all sorts of problems here on our first step. Let's go ahead and remove this screw. There we go. Put it back in our bucket. Okay. So it's calling for two screws in our in our front bulkhead part here. And it's calling for four of them in this particular brace unit. We have two that go in from the bottom and two that go in from the side. And then on this portion, it is calling for two, which go into these two areas here. So I'm going to shut the camera off, go ahead and put these uh, nuts in, and we'll get rolling as soon as, as this part is completed. Alright, now that you're done playing with your nuts, let's get to work here and uh, get a few pieces put together. Um, 
before we get get started bolting pieces together I want to introduce you to a product um, made by a company called Threshold it's a billet front bulkhead and it uh, replicates the front bolt head um, made out of plastic almost uh, 100 percent. It's a beautiful piece, um, very well machined, it's all hogged out and lightened. Um, the weight differential is, is not that much, um, but is an extremely very, very strong part and is uh, well, worth, well worth looking into if you want to uh, get some hop-ups for your car. It's uh, just an incredible piece of work. All right. Let's get rolling here. We've oriented our parts uh, as they go on the vehicle. We're going to use the front upper brace first, then the bulkhead brace as it sits just like this, then the bulkhead itself as it sits, and then the rear bulkhead brace is going to go as it sits like this with the protrusion going forward and the rabbit ears on the sides going up. We're going to go ahead and place the front brace on. Goes on to the brace just like so. And it's going to be held on by the two screws. So we're going to go ahead and put the screws in. We're going to go ahead and grab our wrench, tighten them up. Got to get the right bit on here. Make sure that my clutch is set properly. After using it for so long, I know the exact proper setting. We're going to go ahead and tighten them up. Okay. From there, we're going to take our two 30 millimeter cap head screws and we're going to place them into the holes here on the side of the brace. Just like so. Then we're going to slide them through these two holes on the front of the bulkhead like so. Make sure everything lines up properly and we have the bolts protruding out the back. Then we're going to go ahead and align our rear bulkhead brace up and again when you do this you can see the orientation here where the protrusion goes inside the bulkhead and the bumps go up towards the top. We're going to go ahead and uh, change our bit out to the four millimeter. We're going to go ahead and tighten these up. If you are using an electric screwdriver make sure it has a clutch and then make sure you're familiar with your tools and set it lighter than it should be. And then you can always go back by hand and follow up just to make sure that your pieces are, are nice and tight the way that they should be. If you have your clutch set too tight, uh, you do run the risk of stripping stuff out and we don't want to do that. So it's best just to run it a little bit loose and then go back by hand. So now we have our front bulkhead assembly all finished up and that's pretty much covered page number eight in the manual. Congratulations, you've built the first part of your Baja SS.